Hi, I am Rakesh Kabra. This is my fifth video on partnership accounting. And in this video, we will discuss on one problem related to the past adjustment. Let's see the problem. P, Q and R are partners in a firm. Their capital accounts stood at Rs. 30,000, 15,000, 15,000 respectively on 1st January 2011. As per the provision of the deed, R was to be allowed a remuneration of Rs. 3,000 per annum. Interest at the rate of 5% per annum was to be provided on capitals. Profits were to be shared in the ratio of 2 to 1. Ignoring the above terms, net profit of Rs. 18,000 for the year ended 2011 was divided among the partners equally. Pass an adjustment entry to rectify the error. So this is the problem. In this problem, we have seen that profits of Rs. 18,000 was divided equally among the partners without providing these provisions of the partnership deed. Now, how we will rectify this uh, mistake? To rectify this mistake, we will pass one adjustment entry. But to get that adjustment entry, we have to prepare one statement, a statement showing final adjustment. And in this ad statement, we will open one column for the uh, each partner and one column for the firm. So this is column for P and this represents P's capital account, debit side, credit side. This is Q's capital account, debit side, credit side. This is R's capital account, debit side and credit side. And column for the firm represents profit and loss appropriation account, debit side and credit side. So we will open this uh, uh, statement. We will prepare this statement. And now let's see what we will do. As per the question, we know that 18,000 uh, which was the profit distributed equally among the partners. So it means that uh, the balance of each partner's capital account was increased with rupees 6,000 uh, 6, as 18,000 distributed equally. So each partner got 6,000 and with that uh, 6,000 the balance of partner's capital account uh, was increased. So now first we will decrease the balance of partners capital account with the same amount 6000 and for that purpose we will write that 6000 on the debit side of each partners capital account so in this manner profits already credited we distributed this 18000 and at that time the balance of partners capital account increased increased means we wrote 6000 on the credit side of partners capital account so now again we will write this uh, that amount on the debit side of the partners capital account and this we will do only in one case and that is when the profits are distributed uh, in the wrong ratio here the profit sharing ratio is 2 to 1 but we distributed uh, the profits in the equal ratio so there is a wrong distribution of profit so in that case we will do this and after this let's see what we will do we will allow remuneration to Mr. R uh, that is the rupees 3000 per annum so remuneration to R with the amount of rupees 3000 we will increase the balance of R's capital account so we will write that 3000 on the credit side of our capital account and this 3000 is lost to the firm so we will write this 3000 on the debit side of profit and loss appropriation account and next now we will allow interest on capital at the rate of 5% per annum we omitted that but now we will allow so this is P's capital account 30,000 and it's 5% 1500 this is Q's capital account and it's 5% 15,000 and it's 5% 750 and this is R's capital account 15,000 and it's 5% again 750 so we will allow 1500 to P 750 to Q and 750 to R as interest on capital so with that amount we will increase the balance of partners capital account and for this purpose we will write that amount of interest on capital on the credit side of these partners capital account so interest on capital on the credit side of P's capital account 1500 
सेवन फिफ्टी ऑन द क्रेडिट साइड ऑफ क्यूज कैपिटल अकाउंट सेवन फिफ्टी ऑन द क्रेडिट साइड ऑफ आर्स कैपिटल अकाउंट एंड विद द टोटल ऑफ दिस अमाउंट दैट इज थ्री थाउजेंड वी विल रेड दैट थ्री थाउजेंड ऑन द डेबिट साइड ऑफ प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस एप्रोप्रिएशन अकाउंट एज इट इज लॉस टू द फॉर्म आफ्टर दिस वी विल सी द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ दिज रेक्टिफिकेशन ऑन द प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस एप्रोप्रिएशन अकाउंट so first we will make total of the credit side same total we will write on the debit side and from this total we will subtract the total of debit side that is 6000 so 18000 minus 6000 we will get the difference amount 12000 this is the divisible profits why divisible profits as total of credit side is more than the total of debit side and now this divisible profits we will distribute among the partners in their profit sharing ratio the actual profit sharing ratio that is 2 to 1 ratio so again we will increase the balance of partners capital account with the, their share in this divisible profits so we will credit the partners capital account with their share in this divisible profit so balance of piece capital account will be increased with rupees 4800 balance of q's capital account will be increased uh, with rupees 4800 and balance of r's capital account will be increased with rupees 2400 so this is the divisible profit distributed among the partners in their profit sharing ratio 2 to 1 after this we will make total of each column 6000 total of this uh, credit side of p's capital account is 6300 Here six thousand, here five thousand five fifty, six thousand, and total of uh, credit side of ours capital account is six thousand one hundred and fifty. And after this total, making this total, we will compute the net result. So, the net result is this. To rectify this mistake, uh, first we have to debit P's capital account with six thousand. then we have to credit p's capital account with 6300 so it is better to credit p's capital account only with the difference amount that is 300 first we will debit then we have to credit so better to credit only with rupees 300 with the amount of difference same thing here first we have to debit q's capital account with 6000 then we have to credit q's capital account with 5550 so better to debit q's capital account with the amount of difference that is 450 so what we have to do just uh, make the difference of uh, total of both the side and put the difference in the column which is showing uh, more total uh, so here see in case of r the difference is uh, the total of debit side is 6000 the total of credit side is 6150 and the difference amount is 150 and we will write that 150 uh, in the credit column as a total of credit side is more so the difference 150 i wrote uh, in the credit column 150 so this is the final conclusion and accordingly now we will compose the entry let's see the entry adjustment entry this uh, in this adjustment entry we will debit q's capital account with 450 this is q's capital account and the amount of difference we wrote uh, in the debit column so q's capital account will be debit and uh, the amount of difference uh, we wrote in uh, on the credit side of p's capital account so p's capital account credited and uh, this amount of difference we wrote uh, on the credit side of r's capital account so r's capital account will be credited so this is the adjustment entry and this to get this adjustment entry we are to prepare this statement showing final adjustment so after preparing this final adjustment we come to know that whose partners capital account uh, will be debited and which partners capital account we are to credit so this is all about uh, this question i hope you understood uh, how to solve this problem how to solve this type of problems related to past adjustments